Hi, and welcome to this video in our Introduction to DNS series. In this video, we're going to take a look at name servers. In our first video, I showed a device connecting to a name server to find an A record for www.fastos.co.uk. In that video, the server just responded with an IP address, but there is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. This first name server is actually called a DNS resolver, and its sole job is to find A records when requested. For most users, this will just be provided by their internet service provider. If yours isn't provided by your internet service provider, it's because you've manually changed it and you probably don't need to be watching this video. The first thing the DNS resolver will do is check its cache to see if it already knows the A record that is being requested. A cache is just temporary memory that helps the server to be more efficient. It stores the A records for the most popular sites so it doesn't have to go and find them every time. For example, if I requested www.google.com, the chances are that A record would be cached and therefore it wouldn't have to go looking for that A record. If the A record isn't in the cache, then the DNS resolver has to go on a bit of a journey of discovery to try and find that A record. The first thing the DNS resolve will do is ask something called the root servers if they know the IP address for www.fastos.co.uk. These root servers are very important and are maintained by the very top tech companies. They contain information about all the top level domains such as .co.uk, .com, .net and so on. They will not be able to provide the IP address for fastos.co.uk, but they will provide the DNS resolver with the information it needs to find the next name server in the step. This next name server is responsible for maintaining the DNS records for .co.uk domains, and it won't know the answer for www.fastos.co.uk, but it will be able to provide the DNS resolver with the next name server in this sequence. It's at this stage that you can actually have an effect on the DNS of your domain. The name server that you specify for your domain is what's going to get returned to the DNS resolver at this stage of the process. If we do a whois lookup on fastos.co.uk, we can see that we've set the name servers to be fastos.net.uk, and these are the name servers that the DNS resolver is going to connect to to find the A record for fastos.co.uk. The DNS resolver will connect to those name servers, obtain the A record for fastos.co.uk and then reply back to the original device with that A record. The device now has the IP address and it can connect to the website. The DNS resolver will probably keep that A record in its cache for anywhere up to 24 hours as well. This just means that if a request comes in for that A record, it can provide it without having to do that same journey again. This makes everything nice and efficient, but if that A record changes during that time, it can cause problems, and that's known as propagation. And we'll take a look at that in our next video. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.